Maybe they have water up here. Caution. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the cows. The cows are really angry. I mean, the Brahmin. Brahmin. I think... There's more. There's a couple more over here. Oh, please don't attack me. I... Someone's looking to cash their chips early. <laughs> oh man, her barks are the best. Her barks are the best. And by barks, I mean, you know, the, the that. You know, her sayings. Uh, okay, well. So we had some cows over here really upset about life. Some bed rolls. What a weird area. Oh, and this would be water. But that... No, it's empty. It's probably used to irrigate the... Uh, the corn. Corn is really complicated to... To grow. I'm not really sure... How that would work. Oh, there's something else over here. How, how that would work in a, a setting like this. Or in fact, how it works... In a setting like this. Because California does grow corn... In modern day... Uh, this isn't California, though. This is Nevada. I'm just mixing things up. We're also getting pretty close to the boomers. Uh, so I wouldn't mind finding something over here and then doing a teleport. I still want to find that area that area that we're looking for. But there's some friends over here. Excuse me. Chem addicts. I've heard a lot about you. That... So I hear the honcho of one of them strip families up and disappeared. Poof. Yeah. Some cons got cornered in the ruins of Boulder City, but the NCR let them go. That's unusual. Man, that sound effect was weird and spooky. It's coincidental, though. But those friends are just leaving here. What is that? Yeah, that's to the boomers up there. Uh, there's a friend. There's a, a friendly in the middle of the road. We're gonna deal with them when we can. What is this? Sunset Hasparilla crate. Oh, it's only empty though. I need the I need filled bottles. What is this? Fields' shack. Ooh. Sunset Hasparilla uh, blue cap thing. There's nothing here though. I mean, the objective was just to find the area. It wasn't really to... To find anything interesting. The interesting thing that I want to find... Let's go to the H&A Tools Factory. Maybe it's around here. I don't think it's around here. Maybe it is. Let's go into the H&T Tools Company. Factory. Um. Excuse me? A suspicious terminal. Building the things you need to build a better tomorrow. Employee access terminal. Cindy Lou Crab, human resources to all personnel subject new employee policies. Effective immediately, the following company policies are in place. All cameras are forbidden in office areas and on the factory floor. No more than three employees are permitted in the break room at any time. In accordance with the wishes of management, all bathrooms have been sealed off and walled over. Employees are requested to attend to all waste disposal needs before or after work hours. If you have any questions about these policies, please email Human Resources. Thank you. Cindy Lou Crab, H and Tools Human Resources. H and H Tools. And this is, of course, from before the war. New employee policies updated, please read. Hello again, everybody. Mr. H, which is Mr. House, has requested that the following rules be added to the H&H &H Tools employee policies. Please note that these rules are effective immediately. Employees will conduct all spoken language business in English. Yes, this includes dealing with international clients. Rooftop access is strictly forbidden. All employees must submit to random DNA screening to isolate the traitor gene, quote-unquote. Hmm... Hello, fellow H&H &H employee, employees. Mr. H 
has asked me to pass on the details of our new security systems. This is very important, so please read it and confirm via email that you... Aw, look at that. Email with a dash. Like old people write that you understand the procedures. Automated heavy turrets have been installed in both cubicle areas, the central catwalk, and actually... Sorry to go back to the email thing. They shouldn't use the word email. Fallout doesn't have emails. Emails, were, I think, were only invented in the 60s. Just like Fallout doesn't have the internet, you know? It doesn't mean that it, there's no network connections between computers. Obviously, there are. And it doesn't mean that there's no messaging system between uh, computers through the network. Because, of course, there are. But the word internet and the word email is very specifically rooted in the reality after the 50s, which Fallout separated from reality after the 50s. Of course, it's not to say that there's, you can't have anything that happened after the 50s in Fallout. It's just... You know, you don't need you don't need to use real words, either way. Um, so uh, the central catwalk the, and outside Mr. H's office, you must have your ID pass on you at all times, or the turrets will open fire, and we certainly don't want that, do we? Remember, no sudden movements until you hear the click. That means the turret has recognized your ID signature and you're safe to pass. Employees must submit at least one of the following of the f on the first payday of each month: one vial of blood, twenty nail clippings. Toenail or fingernail is fine, but not a mix of both. One lock of hair or a five square centimeter skin sample. These samples will be retained for monitoring purposes. Any employees seen to be cohabitating, colluding, or co co cogitating with any of the following groups will be terminated immediately. Foreigners, Masons with a capital M, Carpenters, Tragic Players, that's capital T, that's the Fallout version of uh, Magic the Gathering. It's a Fallout 2 thing. Illegal aliens, extraterrestrials, or the Flemish. And I'm not actually sure what the Flemish are. I don't know. It's capitalized as well. If you see Mr. H in the halls, do not make eye contact. Making eye contact with Mr. H will be seen as an attempt to steal his thought energy and will be grounds for immediate dismissal. Yes, even if Mr. H is wearing his special hat. Thank you all for your patience with our little reorganization. Now get out there and make the best gosh darn tools in the West. In the West. We have a hidden network drive over here. It's worse than I feared. Henderson sent a 10-point memo outlining the benefits of mechanization and automation, as if I wouldn't know he's been plotting with my half-brother the entire time. I knew he was a whizzled dick trader from the moment I laid eyes on him. Only one thing to do. One thing, and the company, my father's legacy, is safe forever. Cindy Lou will bring him to me, and then I'll make an example. The bastard, capital B, will learn why you don't cross the house. And yes, that was obviously written by Mr. House, and it was... I was thinking that from the beginning. And then? Maybe I should switch to a squirt gun. Are you not penetrating armor? That is a pulse rifle. Oh, freaking hell. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is fine. It's just a little bit of radiation. I mean, and also that. I didn't realize that. Okay. Oh, there's more. Flamethrower? Flamethrower. Apparently no weapon. Of course, of course. Don't let me kill you. Wait, was it? <laughs> it was a flamethrower. It was the um. That was the uh the Mr. Handy saying. Oh. F Be careful! What are you doing? Oh hi. My God! Can we please stop it? I'm just trying to take in the sights. What did just happen? Oh no! Eddie! What? No, Eddie didn't die. Cass, did you. What's she picking up? 
I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Uh, but I think. I I don't I don't I don't I don't know what to say. Um. Yeah, she you pick you pick things up. What are you doing? Yeah, we're, we can't go through there. Evidently, everything kills us. Oh freaking hell! Everything kills us. Stop it. That's weird. The range is actually pretty sweet. Hi. Uh, it was a shotgun blast. Don't worry about it. I can't disable that one, I don't think. Maybe I can. I can. Is this terminal good? I think it is. Effective immediately. The following... Yeah, that's the same email as before. Email from Dobson O'Gill. What the jumping monkey fuck? Are you out of your mind? You think they aren't monitoring emails? Don't with a dash. Don't send that seditious, the seditious shit my way. Uh, I don't understand who that is from at the moment. I think we're gonna find them elsewhere so this was like a it had safes and whatnot there's a radio somewhere making noise we don't we don't worry about that um paranoid much so what happens if I go upstairs instead got a robo brain that we killed or somebody did Let's not dwell on who did what. And let's kill that... That, uh... Mr. Handy over here. I think. Oh, it's a friendly one. How may I serve you, master? Really? Hmm. Huh. There's another suspicious terminal. Why are they suspicious? Cindy Lou can no longer save me. This is on the 15th of April, 2077. Before the war. Who is Cindy Lou? I mean, it, it, it's the... Uh, it's the... Freaking hell, these shotguns. It's the person that... Um, oh, there you are. That uh, was writing the email, or... Whose computer... I think it's the receptionist, potentially. Because we've seen that name plenty of times. I don't think there's anything here. Lucky 38 VIP key card. Wait. Is that for that locked... Locked door? Oh my god. Maybe... I mean... I guess we're going to find out. Um, oh, we need to hack this. Terrified. Hmm. Terrified. It could be. There we go. The way I do it is I read terrified over the, the word and I match in my head the, um, uh, I match in my head the, the letters and I, I read it out loud so I, you know, don't need to calculate whether the letters go, but in my head I'm, I'm calculating. As the years roll on, I find myself missing father's advice more and more. I wonder if he would be proud of the decisions I have made. But no, such second-guessing does me no good. I won't be weighed down by the past, and I won't waste energy on an ancient family history, especially when that history isn't really family at all. I'm beginning to mistrust Henderson. I think he's conspiring with my bastard half-brother to seize the company. I built this company, dammit. I won't be ousted by some Johnny-come-lately fancy college man with his robots and his degrees. I've asked Cindy Lou to keep an eye on him to monitor his email for suspicious activity. Who wrote this? Ooh, Lucky 38 Executive Override. They've all turned against us, haven't they? Cindy Lou is right. I've had no choice. May God forgive me for what I have done. All my employees, all those people I thought loyal friends. Was I wrong? Am I crazy? I've scattered this journal across all the terminals in the office. 
just in case they want to take me, or just in case they want to take me without a fight. As soon as I finish this entry, I'm activating the security systems. If you're reading this and you're American, God bless the USA. If you're reading this and you're my brother, see you in hell. Anthony House. I don't think this is Mr. House. Also, I don't. I think we should probably save before I, I do the executive override because I'm not actually sure what that does. Starting. Probably, mm, probably not. Let's not do that. We can come back if we need to. It might be related to the VIP thingy. Hi, your friends. Okay. How may I serve you, master? By not bothering me. I oh. I broke my leg. Feels good not to have to drag a bomb and train across the Mojave. Yeah, but having my leg broken doesn't feel good. Now I'm all limpy. Okay, so. Oh, I don't need the clipboard. But there's another suspicious terminal. Maybe the reason why it's suspicious is because it's the terminal that has the uh, remnants of the of the journal. I think that might be the reason. And these are just the normal emails. Nevertheless, 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 nevertheless. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. Oh, don't scare me. Uh I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. This one over here. It's the same emails. But this one is from Jenny De Soto. Beats me, Alan. I tried to check their SEC filing information, but the whole company is like a maze. I can't even tell who's in charge. I emailed Dobson about it. His brother's a private investigator who does a lot of corporate stuff. Maybe he'll have an answer, Jenny. Uh, P.S. Sorry, babe. I can't this weekend. My church choir is doing a musical theater retelling of the life of St. Columba, and I have to work the Loch Ness Monster Puppet. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. I do know that my my um, H2O is in a bit of a predicament. I'll take care of that in a little bit. Maybe it's because of my broken leg. No more haircuts. No more trims. They can use it to steal your thought energy with their eyes. I have a special hat that stops them, though. Special hat and special shotgun. Father, why have you stopped talking to me? You always loved him best, didn't you? Hmm... I think this was... <sighs> As I was saying, I think this was not um, House, the Mr. House that we know. I think it was all his brother. So all of this stuff that we're seeing... Hmm. What did you do, Eddie? How may I serve you, mistress? Oh, the freaking grenade bouquet. That's what he did. Yeah, don't ask how a flying robot can trigger a tripwire a foot thing. Um, maybe it was the NPC, actually. Yeah, uh, the you know, the Mr. Handy that's going around. The, grenades bou the grenade bouquet is so dangerous. That thing is so dangerous. Because one grenade alone does a lot of damage. Um, but three of them... Right in the... It's, it's terrible. I talked about it before, I think. But anyway. Email from Alan Dalton. Jenny, what the hell is up with these guys? They have been coming after our market share like they have got something to prove. No, strike that. This feels personal. Did Mr. H... Run over Robco's dog or something? Alan. P.S. My wife's out of town for the weekend. Why don't you come over after work Friday? Bring the accordion and the riding crop. I'm actually not sure what a riding crop is, but that sounds sexual. The accordion included. This is not, this is not suspicious. He does have a bunch of emails from uh, 
Jack Maynard. Dob, have you seen these new HR rules? What the hell is going on here? I swear, if this place didn't have the great benefits, I'd... Or didn't have great benefits, I'd be out of here. Jack. Hey, Sexy, I just fed Alan a line about having to play the Loch Ness Monster in a play this weekend. So I'm free Friday night. Want me to bring the stove pipe and the souvenir moon rocks? That's that's definitely about... that. Yes. Um, Alan Dalton. Dobbs, Jenny said your brother might know something about these Robco guys that are kicking our asses on the trading floor. You heard anything? P.S. The wife's away this weekend and Jenny's busy. Why don't you bring over the rubber sheets and the souvenir elephant foot trash can and remind me what I've been missing? Okay, that one is a little bit of a, stre a stretch, to be honest. I am not sure about anything anymore. But uh, these people are... They are horny and uh, they are all about that rubber feet trash can souvenir thingy. Anyway, we're out of here. So, this is not it. That's not it. That is the uh, Crimson Caravan. That is the Gun Runners. We've been inside. This is the other entrance to Freeside. We've been through there as well. Aerotech Office Park. I didn't realize it... I... Mm. I didn't realize... Uh, I'm, I'm very smart. Well, we found it. So, let's see what this is. It's people. And NCR... Uh, tents? And NCR troopers. Something I can help you with, stranger? I don't know. Who are you? Captain Parker. I'm in charge of this camp. What exactly is this camp? This here's where folks go and where their luck runs out. Drifters up from the Republic, locals that can't turn a dime, and of course, the drunks from all around. If you don't have the caps to get onto the strip, odds are you'll end up here. Sounds like a chaotic place. Is there any way I can help? Well, I am a little short-staffed. Maybe you could give me a hand. Some people have gone missing from the camp lately. Haven't seen any signs of violence or heard about any feuds. They just up and vanished. I've also got Keith and his gambling to deal with. I know that shit is cheating people out of their savings. I just can't prove it. Tell me about this Keith. Keith's a two-bit hustler. He runs a gambling operation out of his shack. He wins a little bit too often to be playing fair. I suspect he's running drugs, too. I just can't prove it. Maybe you can find something. Talk to him, poke around his shack, something. Oh yeah, don't worry about it. Um, what about those disappearances? Some people have gone missing from the camp lately. We haven't seen any signs of violence, but they're no longer here. Before they were gone, they were speaking to Dermot and St. James. You may want to talk to them. They're scavengers from Westside. I'll look into it. Glad to hear it. Okay. See ya. The Coyotes. Um. Well, let's uh, talk to people who are outside. Bert. Yes. Gunnarsson. Welcome, brother. How can I help you? Uh, what's the deal with all the these refugees? Poor lost souls, most of them. They thought to come to New Vegas and find their fortunes on its shining strip. But the journey is often long, and the price to enter the city is steep. Those who could not pay ended up here, hoping to earn the caps they need. Some find honest labor, but more fritter away what little they've saved on crooked gambling and cheap liquor. Still, I minister to them as I can. You minister? Who are you? Well, that's an interesting question. Among the church, I'm called Elder Gunnarsson. The followers call me Doc. You can call me Bert, though. The church. There's two religions in Fallout. I believe 
um, the followers of the apocalypse are one, but there's an, also the church that are the unity church, I think. You're one of the followers of the apocalypse? I surely am. Well, sort of. I came out from Utah about six months back, saw a need for my help here. The followers weren't too happy about that, of course. They haven't been too fond of the NCR for a while, but I go where I'm needed. What was it that brought you out here from Utah? Following a lost cause, I'm afraid. My old friend Nephi fell in with a bad crowd. Drug runners, raiders, probably worse things it's better not to dwell on. When his gang headed west, I followed. I thought perhaps I could turn him back to the church. What happened to your friend Nephi? I never was able to reach him. He has allowed drugs and hatred to consume him. He runs with the fiends north of here now. They call him Driver Nephi. I hope I haven't killed him yet. What do you do here? I give what aid and comfort I can. I have medical knowledge thanks to my time with the followers. Can you heal me? I would be happy to, should you require it. You seem to be in fine health now. Yeah, well, it's fine. Uh, goodbye. Farewell, friend. What a nice fella. Um, so, should I select the quest? I think I should. No, it's already selected. It's not here. How would I know it's not here? Because he didn't tell me, did he? I don't think he did. Red Lucy needs the giant... Yeah, what the heck? Oh, right, because the other one... The... The quest for the uh, gambler is not marked. So, no problem. Aerotech tent. So, not NCR. Oh. Hello. What can I do for you? Who are you? My name's Frank Weathers. I'm a farmer. Got a few hundred acres near Junktown. Well, I was a farmer. I guess I'm not much of anything now. What do you know about the Legion? Well, they're cannibals. They're slavers, the worse. I hear rumors they're poised to overrun the entire Colorado River Valley. And even the army won't be enough to stop them. One of the officers here at... Or at Camp McCarran, he might be able to help you. Why'd you come all the way out of New Vegas? Well, I, I was hoping to make it rich. Make my fortune and never have to plow those damn fields again. I just wanted to provide for my family, and now they're gone. They're all gone. I, I'm sorry, I, I really could use your help. What happened to your family? We were crossing the Mojave, not far from Searchlight, when a band of Caesar's Legion slavers came, they came out of nowhere. They took my family. Wait a minute. Why didn't they take you too? God help me, I ran. I abandoned my family to those butchers. <laughs> not a day goes by when I don't hate myself for doing that. They would have killed you if you fought. Maybe I can help you find them? You'd do that for a complete stranger? Oh, thank you, Fred. The army says they can't help. No one can help me right now. You're all I got. From what I've gathered from NCR Rangers, they were most likely taken to Cottonwood Cove. You might want to start there. I will visit Cottonwood Cove. For sure. Goodbye. He doesn't like finishing his words. It's an accent thing, I'm sure. 